In this section, we're going to go to the daily log. We're on the dashboard right now, but if you click anywhere on the dashboard, you'll go to your daily log section. And it's also felt, found here under logs. And again, you'll, again, if you want to see how, uh, learn a little bit more on how to read the moving averages and so forth, because they are important, uh, look at the moving average tools and you'll also start to understand it as you log data in here. But it's very simple uh, to go ahead and add food. You simply click the add button and you can do this on your phone as well. And you'll have recently act eaten uh, foods in here. But for example, a lot of us eat the same thing over and over again. If I ate a ribeye steak, for example, it pops up. It pops up with my last amount of uh, calories that I've said. We Again, we tend to eat the same things. The most important thing is that even though you can go ahead and search on the, the Health Sidekick database, most important thing is we obviously create our own database because the, the consistency of the logging is really going to give you some good information. And that obviously is all I have to do is say save and that's in there with the five with five ounces. If I did six ounces or six portions, whatever I consider to be that six portions, it will it will go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this. So again, if I were to eat, for example, it was breakfast and I ate an egg, the egg pops up, boom, it's in there. I can say how many eggs I ate. I ate two eggs. I click save and it's logged. It's pretty simple. And then it obviously goes into the calculation. We'll go ahead and remove that. Then we'll go ahead and we'll look at, for example, uh, the same thing with the physical activity log. I'm going to get into this planned activity here in a second again when we get to the plan section but for example if I did a walk I can look at it and now I know because I've put this in I can look put walk in here this happens to be a walk for me I can simply click it I walk for 30 minutes oh no I work walk for 25 automatically changes the calories and then I click uh, save right uh, same thing with the mental activity same thing with the spiritual activity. Remember, you're going to define those spiritual activities. And then what we do is we'll go ahead and rank those, and you'll get a plus or a minus on how those translated into plus or minus calories for you. So as you change your mental and spiritual activities, you'll get a minus or a plus depending. And what that means is it simply means that every time I did this particular activity, for example, I ate plus five and a quarter uh calories more each day when I did this activity. So whatever that translated into, that's the reality. So I have to, I can look at that. What's the meeting? Well, there's some food there or whatever. So I'm eating extra calories. So there's a thought process that you can at least take a look at. That's about it for the logging se section. I'm going to go ahead and we'll go into the historical log. The historical log is simple. You simply can go ahead and search, for example, from certain dates. So if I want to, if I've been on a certain particular diet or a certain way of eating or exercising over a period of time, I can easily search by going here and then searching, for example, uh, 12, 8 to, uh, you know, 110. I can go search. It automatically gives me how many, what my total calories are and what actually happened to my weight and body fat percentage over that period of time. It has all the, all my logins uh, in, in summary. For example, how many calories I ate versus how much I uh, weight and so so forth. And then it obviously it takes down to all the food and stuff. I can go in and I can look at, for example, oh, this ham, what was it exactly? And I can see uh, what it was or I can look at, oh, chocolate chip pancake syrup, what was that? And this is what it looked like and so forth. Okay. Uh, so you can go through that and you can get some analysis. You can look at, for example, uh, you know, go down and look at what your spiritual mental activity is. And then again, you can chart it so you can get an idea. This is where your blood and where your measurements, your glucose and your blood pressure would show up if you choose to log that information. So back up here, those are your totals. And you can very easily by clicking average, you can get your averages for per day, or you can get it, or you can go ahead and take a look at your, uh, you know, your seven, your, 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 uh, your seven, your 14, your 30, and so on. Uh, that's about it for the history section. The chart section is pretty easy. You can go ahead and, again, chart things over certain dates. So I can go from 12-2, for example, to January 2nd. I can add that chart. I can go, let me see my calories consumed, uh, for example. And then I can go ahead and add another chart. Let's say I want to go ahead and 
compare that month, this month here that I just did, the 12 2 to uh, 12 uh, 2, I want to compare it to a different date or I want to compare some other data. I can easily do that by going ahead and clicking here and then I can and I can have multiple charts up there. So I can compare multiple time frames. I can see oh how much how that translated into weight loss for me and so forth. That's about it when it comes to the logging page.